Ukrainian army and anti-Kiev forces are withdrawing their equipment to create a 30-kilometer buffer zone. The move is the latest phase of the peace process in East Ukraine, where there's still sporadic fighting. Roman Kosrev reports. This school should be uh, thronging with students right about now, but uh, here it is sitting completely empty. Another victim to the war that tore this region apart. Uh, everything is destroyed here, uh, burned uh, textbooks. And uh, I spoke to some of the children that uh, attend school here in Donetsk region, and uh, here are just some of their stories. Sophia usually loves this time of year, a chance to catch up with friends and for them to celebrate her birthday. But normal life here is anything but that this year. It's so very odd. Tomorrow is my birthday and I asked my school friend to come over. She says she can come if there's no shelling. They say we can go to school in October. We have new classes, physics, chemistry, and now it's all being pushed aside. Ruslan has two daughters, one in college and the other in school. Despite a ceasefire, he's still nervous about letting them stray too far from home. Of course we keep worrying. You know what it's been like here. Every time they go, we worry. According to the United Nations, almost 300 schools in eastern Ukraine were damaged following shelling from the army in its fierce battles with anti-government forces. Like everyone else in Donetsk, third grader Liza is still scared by the whole experience but is now thinking about her future. I like homeschooling, but I miss my friends and my teacher. I want to be a vet because I love animals and want to help them not to be sick. The kids probably don't mind the fact that the school is still closed, although some told me that they miss their friends and teachers. The self-proclaimed authorities are targeting October the 1st as the start of the new school year. However, that date could be pushed further back if the hostilities continue. Roman Kostrev, RT, Donetsk, Ukraine. And those 300 schools that Roman was speaking about are among 600 plus public buildings and almost 200 businesses destroyed by shelling in the rest of regions. That's according to UN estimates. On top of that, more than a thousand homes have been devastated in the violence. The cost of the damage has been put at $440 million.